I'm excited about this side dish recipe mm -hmm. because, okay, I'm going to be the first to admit it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of sweet potatoes. Right. Um, I just sometimes think that the sweet potato side dishes can be really, really sweet, and I'd rather just save room for dessert. So, right, right. Um, this is a new twist to this classic sweet potato. Yes, it is. It's a very yes. savory a dish. That's right. And, you know, sweet potatoes are, are a very healthy vegetable as well. And this is people who really enjoy, like, potato gratin. I do. This is a twist on it, but using sweet potatoes. And the gratin means it has some, a, a nice sauce, a creamy sauce, and of course cheese. And we're gonna be using Wisconsin cheese in here. Actually, Wisconsin, it's called an Alpine style, which is sort of like on the lines of a Gruyere cheese. Mm. And uh, it just has a lot of those floral notes, very nutty, very sweet, and melts really well. So it's perfect for this dish. I'm smelling it in the oven right now, <laughs> yeah. and it doesn't smell sweet at all. It smells cheesy, so if you're you know, into potato gratins, this is mm -hmm. a new way to do it. So, right. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with an 8 by uh, 10, I'm sorry, by an 8 by 8 uh, casserole dish. You want to butter it well. Okay. Now, again, we're using sweet potatoes. For this recipe, about um, maybe four potatoes, good size uh, sweet potatoes. You want to peel them and then slice them in, so that's what I've done here. And slice actually, them pretty thin? Slice them long, yeah, about an eighth of an inch okay. it recommends. Okay. It actually says in the recipe uh, lengthwise, okay. um, and that way it can cover a lot of the uh, you know, the sauce and the cheese better. But if you prefer to do it just in the sort of those uh, half dollar shape, that's probably either, fine too. Either way, either way. okay. So, but that's how I've done okay, that so here. Okay, so a bunch of the, uh, four potatoes mm -hmm. peeled and sliced thin. That's okay. correct. And uh, we're going to layer. We're going to make four layers. Okay. All right. So we're going to start, and we're going to be also using some whipping cream. Okay. Yum. If you'd like, you can also use um, half and half. Okay. If you want a little bit lighter, but we're going to use a whole a whole cup of um, actually two cups of whipping cream total in here. Okay. okay. So this so is our <laughs> Lamers heavy cream, which we okay. love. So a little bit buttered dish, and then some yeah, heavy cream a, on the bottom. Yeah, about a quarter a cup on the bottom to okay. start. Okay? okay. And then we're going to start uh, layering it. Uh, and when you do layer, you want to kind of put them. Um, you overlap know, overlap a little, a little bit, bit okay, okay? okay, and spread out the whole bottom. And what we're going to do between the layers is we're going to salt and pepper, uh, because you do want to salt and pepper as you go. Okay, uh, that uh, you know really helps with the flavor. Okay, and um, you want all those layers to have more that. heavy cream. Not yet. Okay. No, no, okay. we're going to do a couple layers here okay. first. Okay. All right, then we're going to take about a half a cup of the Wisconsin uh, Grand Cru Alpine style cheese. Okay. So this is, comes in a hunk. This is something that you don't find pre-grated, so you, we right. shredded it ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's okay. right. We shredded but it ourselves. But it's going to make all the difference in this dish to get some really nice quality yes. uh, cheese like this. Yes, a really good quality cheese for this. And then we're going to layer again, so we're going to make our second layer. We're going to put the cream on soon, but we want to get the second layer on okay. first. Uh -huh. Okay. And there you go. Okay, salt and pepper again. Can you do this a little bit ahead of time and park it in your fridge before baking? I think you can do that. Probably okay. the same day would be a good idea. Okay. And then we're going to put another uh, half a cup of the uh, cheese on there. Okay. And then, then we're going to put this. We have uh, actually about half of that. Okay. A little bit more. This is our Lamer's heavy yeah. cream. Mm -hmm. On there. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then uh, more, potatoes. Potatoes. more potatoes. So we're making four layers total. So kind of um, spread them out so that you have those. Where does no. the sage come in? That's where I'm excited it about too. It goes on top, okay? And so see, that's probably enough there. Okay. So we have enough. Okay. I think. We're going to need that too. Okay. We're going to have okay. a fourth layer after okay. that. So we have some more salt and pepper. You can take another half a cup of cheese to put on there. You bet. Okay. And this really melts well. You really want to you know, be generous with that because that's what makes it so good. Yeah, it smells so good. Okay, then finally our last layer okay. of potatoes go on there. And then before we put the last layer of cheese on, we're going to pour the rest of the cream on. And your, your oven should be set at 375 for this. And it takes a, you know, a while to, to bake it just to make sure that we have, you can put the rest of the cream. Okay. Uh, you know, they get cooked really well. Do you cover this when you're baking yes. it? Yes. Okay. Well, for the first 45 minutes, you okay. are. Okay. Before we um, put it in there, though, we're going to put a little more salt and pepper and then top it off with the rest of that, rest cheese. Of that cheese, that Wisconsin okay. Grand Cru or uh, Alpine style cheese. Again, it's sort of like a Gruyere that's made right here in Wisconsin. Ooh. And so then you want to cover that with some foil and it goes in the oven for about 45 minutes. What you can do, um, Amy, if you'd like, it is optional, you can put some sage leaves before you put it in the oven and maybe make a pretty pattern if you'd like. And what happens is the sage is really a, a strong smelling it strong. herb. It, it kind of soaks into Ooh. the uh, uh, gratin here and smells really well. Oh, that looks so pretty. So, okay, so we're gonna check. So covered for 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes and then you remove the cover and bake it another 30 to 40 minutes till it's the, the potatoes are cooked. 
through. And the top gets kind of a nice yeah. golden mm -hmm. crust. Right. Oh my gosh, Karen, this looks yeah. fantastic. It would be a great side dish with turkey or a roast chicken, whatever you're pork serving chops, pork. It's great. Yeah. And really what you want to do is let it sit for about 20 minutes or more so that actually you can cut little squares out of it so it kind of sol uh, gets more solid. That's a good you. tip. Mm -hmm. Don't serve it out of the oven right away. So right. plan accordingly. Let it mm -hmm. sit for just a little bit and then right. you'll be able to cut it nicely. Exactly. Oh wow, that looks fantastic. We'll put the recipe for this gruyere or I should say the uh, sweet potato gratin on our website. Um, you also have lots of great recipes. Yes, and this you can find this on eatwisconsincheese.com. It's actually part of our Great Pair Share collection which is our online cookbook and uh, this one is sort of a, a harvest um, recipe booklet but it's there all year long and uh, that's where you'll find it greatpairshare.com wonderful thanks so much always great to see you you too thanks. hardly wait to, to cool off and um, cut a piece of that for me we'll be back stay with us